Okay, in this video we're going to cover uh, graphing a quadratic relation using the x-intercepts. So we're asked to sketch this curve. Um, we already we, we could sketch this. There's a method um, of using the vertex form. So this is the method we would have done before vertex form. So you would have to change this to vertex form. I'll just quickly go over this. So you have to complete the square. So you take half of 4 and square it. It's plus 4, minus 4. Remembering that that is 0. And then leave the plus 5. Sorry, it was minus 5. So all you're doing is inserting this uh, two terms, which are effectively zero. You group the first three, factor it as a perfect square. X plus two all squared, minus four minus five. Um, so you know that the vertex is negative two, negative nine. Uh, and then you could you know, plot the plot the function using transformations. So that's one way to do this question. Another way to do this question is what we'll call the the x-intercept method. So the method to find the x-intercepts. Well, first thing we're going to do is find the x-intercepts. So in order to find the x-intercepts, it's just like uh, when you find the x-intercepts in a line, you let y equal to 0. So we take this relation, and we substitute 0 in for y. And notice we now have a quadratic equation. So it's just the one variable x that we're solving for. And the method that we would probably use to solve this would be factoring. So notice this is a quadratic which is factorable. So you ask yourself what number is multiply to negative 5 and sum or add to 4. And the answer there would be a negative, oh sorry, plus 5 and negative 1. So these two brackets multiply to give you 0, which means x is equal to negative 5 and x is equal to 1. Maybe I skipped a step, step there. x plus 5 equals 0, which means x equals negative 5. And x minus 1 equals 0, which means x equals 1. Okay, so now you found two points on the curve. You found the two x-intercepts. So just we'll very roughly plot these points. So 1, we have a x-intercept. This will be negative 5. We have a another x-intercept. So we know that these are two x-intercepts. Now the question is, you know, where is the rest of the vert uh, parabola? Like, you know, we, we know it may maybe, well, you can probably tell it's going up because there's no uh, co there's no negative in front of the x squared, so we know it goes like this. But how far down should the vertex go? Um, so we need to actually find the vertex. So, you know, step one maybe was finding the x-intercepts. Step two is finding the vertex, and you might be able to see sort of uh, where the vertex would occur. Um, it's got to occur. at in between the two x-intercepts. So if you remember we call that the axis of symmetry. So we'll find the axis of symmetry. And the axis of symmetry just happens between these two points. And you might be able to just look at those two numbers and figure out uh, what the midpoint of those two numbers is, but I'll just uh, use an actual calculation. I'll add them up and divide them by 2, which would give you 
negative 4 over 2, which means x equals 2 is the axis of symmetry. So I know my vertex happens you know, at x equals 2, I just don't know how far down it goes. Now if I want to figure out how far down it goes, all I need to do, so to find the vertex, notice, remember I know the equation of this parabola. I know that this is the equation. So I want to know what y equals when x is equal to 2. So I'm just going to substitute 2 x equals 2 into the original equation y equals was it 4 sorry halves x squared plus 4x minus 5 so I'm just going to put in so it wasn't 2, it was negative 2. I might have been saying 2 earlier, but it's clearly negative 2. Oops, sorry, not plus. And we'll just work out what that is. So negative 2 squared is 4, minus 8, minus 5, 4 minus 8, negative 4, so negative 9. So Therefore, the vertex, so this is y, um, negative 2, negative 9. So we can put that point on a graph. So down here, we'll say that's negative 9. We got our vertex, and then we'll just connect those three points to. Well, I should try to make it a little more symmetric than that. So there's our vertex, and we'll just label that y equals x squared plus 4x minus 5. Um, notice it's the same vertex that we got when we completed the square. Uh, so it's, you know, you, you're going to get the same parabola, just a different method of doing it. So the first thing you do is you find the x-intercepts, then you find the axis of symmetry, and then you can find the vertex. Um, you might be saying, why do we have two methods? Well, this example doesn't really il illustrate this, but generally this method will be a little bit quicker, finding the x-intercepts, the axis of sym symmetry, and the vertex. This one, you know, you, you look and you say, well, this only took me two steps. Um, but remember, this is completing the square can be a lot harder, right? So in, this was a, an easy uh, equation to complete the square on, so that helps. And just the process of graphing by um, using transformations is not the quickest, right? I didn't actually do that in this equation, in this question, so that takes a little while. So this is a little bit uh, quicker method um, for for graphing a parabola. It's a, it's a good method if you just want a quick, rough sketch of the parabola.